Hello everyone, I'm Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make use of Inkscape to create vector graphics. So when you open Inkscape for the first time, you're going to see an image like this, a screen like this in front of you which shows nothing but the document. The document is the place or the canvas on which you're going to create all of your uh, icons or all of the images that you want to make. Uh, so it's very important that you resize the document to a size that you want to or that you want to uh, make your images on so the easiest way to do that is go to file and go to document properties and then simply resize the prop the document uh, width and height so uh, one important thing to notice over here is that you can simply type in the values and you can tab out of it and the size of the document will be dynamically resize uh, will be changed and uh, you don't have some any sort of a of a an apply or or an OK button over here, which is quite common in a lot of windows. So that's one thing that you need to know. You can simply close it, and here you have your document ready, which has a dimension of 500 pixels by 400 pixels. Now uh, let's try to create a small image, a uh, small you know, graphic inside this. We're gonna create a rectangle over here. And as you see, the rectangle uh, is quite big, but I cannot see it uh, as big. It's, it's, it might be, it's about, let me see how big is it. It's about 417 pixels by 268 pixels, but it does not look as big. So one important feature that you're gonna use a lot is the zooming in and zooming out feature. And you can zoom in and zoom out by making use of the control uh, and, and the mouse scroll, uh, scroll button. So just press control and scroll forward and you're going to scroll, in, scroll into the image, zoom into the image and uh, press control and scroll uh, back and you're going to zoom out of the image. Another way to zoom into particular sections of, of your document or of your canvas or of your images but you can simply uh, make use of the zoom tool over here, just click on it and make a small rectangle in the area that you want to focus on and Inkscape will automatically zoom you into the particular section of the image and then you can work on the image or whatever you, what you can do whatever you want to do for example you can create a small circle over here so that's a pretty easy way to work on particular sections or small sections of an image which are usually not easily visible from far and uh, you can simply press control and click and uh, scroll and there you go you are out of your image and if you want to mm, it's pretty easy if you want to center you know keep it like this uh, what you can also do is uh, one important thing that you might want to know is uh, when you're using uh, any tool like this you uh, Inkscape I mean any tool on Inkscape like this any settings that you had for properties are going to be remembered for example you created a circle over here the circle was similar to uh, the color of the circle and the stroke of the circle this black lining this black border on the circle is called a stroke the stroke of the circle was remembered by Inkscape and if you want you can change change the value of the stroke which is pretty easy just click on the colors over here and you can change the colors of the stroke uh, let's try to make it red over here and you may you can easily change the color to red and the color of the fill the fill color is the color that fills the diagram so you can simply change it to a different color let's make it black over here so we simply have a very nice and cool uh, red and black color circle over here and now if i try to create another circle or another rectangle what happens is that it's going to remember these settings and you have a black uh, fill with a red color uh, border in this figure and uh, whereas earlier we had something like a green color fill and a black color border so one more thing what you can do is if you don't want a stroke if you don't want a stroke to appear you can simply right click on this uh, and you can select unset stroke or remove stroke which is the easiest way to remove a stroke or if you want a stroke to appear just double click on this uh, go to the stroke style and you can increase the width of the stroke let's give it, give it uh, this particular value let's make it let's make this one let's say blue let's make it dark blue and uh, let's give it a stroke width of one of 10 pixels right oh let's give it 10 pixels yeah so you have a 10 pixel stroke and a blue color rectangle so if i try to create another rectangle or another circle uh, the same settings are going to be remembered and that's what happens and this is very important uh, this is an important thing to know because when you when you're creating 
uh, figure like this and you you set the value for the blur you know for, for example let us let us look at the fill over here and i'm going to set the value for the blur to like 50 percent oh sorry not the opacity the blur to like 50 percent okay one second the opacity sorry the opacity to 50 percent or to like 70 84 percent okay and now it looks like it's pretty much like gray it doesn't look exactly like black and now when you try to create another rectangle like this and you might find that the color of this is quite different from this and you might crack your brains over it and wondering why this color looks lighter than this color and the, the reason the possible reason for such color mismatch is that uh, in spite of the colors being the same value the blur the opacity the, op the value of the opacity has remained the same uh, because Inkscape remembered the value the se value settings for this property and what you might want to do is you might want to go back and change the value of the opacity so that it looks much more darker than it actually uh, than earlier was and yeah that's pretty much what i want to tell you about uh, the basic usage of this tool in the first video and thanks for watching